Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Yasa's Universe. It's me, Yanta. This is going to be your next three months reading for all signs. You guys, flip out the rose of person, not every card, not every message, not every storyline will resonate. Okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe, return to sender, any and all negative. No weapon that's formed against me shall prosper, I shame. Okay, the next three months start with Aries okay for the next three months for Aries okay could be dealing with the Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart you're gonna have to be working through your fears you're gonna have to you gotta work through them why the hell okay work through your fears you are good enough you have to know you're good enough what it, whatever you're afraid of is because maybe you're feeling insecure and you're feeling like you're not good enough but you are and it's the time to give rather than take so give give more give more of who you are from your true authentic self okay gain your confidence back that's what i'm hearing get your confidence back let me fix my camera sorry y'all sorry 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 okay cool I know my camera's a little funky, but yeah. So, next three months for Aries, you can be dealing with a Scorpio or a Virgo or have any of those in your chart. Next three months for Aries. The moon, things are going to be revealed. You might be feeling a little lost or confused. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. You're feeling a little hurt. And then the Nine of Swords. What's going on with the Five of Swords? Oh, Aries, I'm getting as well. Some of you didn't grow up with the best parents with the best siblings people made fun of you people talk shit about you people didn't believe in you and it's just like you gotta get out of um being around those people a lot of times when you grow up around that you think that's the norm you think um if people aren't doing this or treating you this way it's weird it's new to you and things like that so it's really having to get out of um depending on the codependency depending on the negativity work through your fears okay you are good enough clarify the moon could be dealing with a pisces the empress you are good enough yes you are so people could have been talking shit about you because maybe you got pregnant early or maybe you like what you like you know the empress likes what she likes don't matter if you if you're straight gay um lgbtq any of that shit the empress is the empress and the empress gets what they want and they like what they like okay clarify the moon and the empress Somebody literally tried to hide your greatness, your glory, or the, the, um, the moon represents fears as well. So you have to work through these fears, fear of being yourself. You are good enough. The Empress is good enough. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Five of Wands, internal conflict, fighting, battling, trying to really hide who you really are. Nine of Swords, but you can't anymore. You can't. Spirit won't let you. High Priestess, exactly. Spirit won't let you. High Priestess. Spirit ain't gonna let you. Clarify the Five of Swords. So now Four of Pentacles, yeah. Um, what you can expect in the next three months, you can't blame anybody for your well-being anymore. You are the way that you are, not because of how people made you. Well, if you want to be, but it's really taking accountability and responsibility on who you are now today. Do you want to change things about yourself? Do you want to become a better person? All right? next three months in love next three months for Aries in their love life oh ace of pentacles a new love offer we got the nine of cups and then queen of cups beautiful you're dealing with an air air sign okay your air is not here but um queen of swords is but Ace of Pentacles, I do see a new love opportunity with a new person. Nine of Cups, this is your wish fulfillment. They make you feel good. They nurture your emotional side. The Chariot, um, you got this relationship is actually going somewhere. This isn't one of those stuck relationships that just doesn't move. You guys have a lot in common and you're going to be figuring yourself out emotionally. Okay, clarify the Chariot. Could be with the Cancer. 
Six of Swords. A lot of movement, a lot of growth. So this relationship is going to make you get out of you. You got to get out of your head. You're stuck in your ways, Aries. You are. You're stuck in your ways with the Hierophant. So this person could be a Cancer. I hear this person is going to show you what love is. Very stable. You got a love offer coming within the next three months. All right, work through your fears. You are good enough. A time to give rather than take. Taurus. Next three months for Taurus. Luck is on your side. You can be done with the Sagittarius. Conclusions are within reach. And you're very close to achieving your goal. So luck is on your side. In the next three months, luck is going to be on your side. Conclusions are going to be coming and you'll be achieving goals. Okay? You're even more close to achieving your goals. What's going on for Taurus? Hi, Priestess. You're dealing with the Pisces. Your intuition is telling you something about your investments. Seven of Pentacles. Okay? King of Cups. You're investing in growing emotionally. Yeah, the world card. A new cycle. A change. Clarify the High Priestess. This is secrets, knowledge, being very spiritual, having dreams, gifts as well. Ace of Swords. Yeah. Your intuition and the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So, I see your intuition, spirit, they have your back. The Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. New insight, new clarity, things being made clear. And then with the Ace of Cups, this is um, emotional happiness, balance, a gift from spirit. Could be a child. Clarify the Seven of Coins. Ten of Coins, yeah. Focus on your craft. Focus on your stability. Clarify the King of Cups. Eight of Coins, yeah. Ten of Coins, Eight of Coins. Seven of Coins, all about the money, stability, Ten of uh, Cups that came out. This is great, beautiful. You're going to be happy. Conclusions are within reach. A very lucky period for you within the next three months. All right? So, and you're very close to achieving your goal. These goals, you're going to be achieving them. Whether it be a new home, a new job, a new car, a new career, you're achieving them. Spirit is saying, yes, you've been approved. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. All right? All right, next three months for Taurus's love life. Next three months in Taurus's love life. Nine of Swords, you're stressed. Get out of your head. Nine of Pentacles. I'm sorry, that's the Nine of Cups. I'm sorry. So we have nine, nine. Nine weeks, nine months, nine days. Nine years. Okay. Ace of Wands. So <laughs> Queen of Wands. You, so there's going to be a fire sign that you're going to be very, uh, you're going to be pressed. You're going to be pressed. You like them. King of Wands, when I cut the deck, this is your match. If you're not meeting them, yeah, you could definitely meet them in the next three months. I, I see their energy is, has already shown up. Their energy has already entered into your vortex and your atmosphere. King and Queen of Wands. You're pressed. You sweating them. Ace of Cups. You like them a lot. And I think this it scares you, Nine of Swords. All right? The connection is going to be very deep, wish fulfillment, and very sexual and passionate. Okay? I hear, I love you. Somebody's going to be saying, yeah, I love you. In the next three months, I hear that. Okay. Gemini. three months for Gemini don't let your past hold you back Gemini south node expect powerful change this came out in your um, all signs reading that I just did for y'all as well what to expect in May and show the world the real you could be dealing with an Aquarius so don't let your past hold you back expect powerful change and show the world the real you this is for Gemini next three months for Gemini. Five of Wands. This past energy, don't let it hold you back. You're holding on to it with the Strength card. More Leo energy. Page of Swords. I don't know who this is. I'm going to have to call them back. Are we still here? So, clarify the Five of Wands for Gemini. 
page of wands it's a fire sign that's saying something to you it's getting on your nerves and it's making you angry don't let your past hold you back so something is going to resurface from the past that might piss you off clarify strength hold back two of cups yeah hold back because you've already moved forward you're already happy you possibly are already in a new connection okay yeah, four of wands. You're possibly already in a new connection. Clarify the page of swords. We have two pages. So this is two opportunities, two different people, messages as well. Six of wands. Victory and success. Will of fortune at the bottom. So yeah, don't let your past hold you back. Don't let one instance, one something that makes you mad in, in one second determine the rest of your life. You can have Leo in your chart. Clarify the devil. Six of Cups, it's your past. It's your past. Someone from the past holding you back, literally. You've already moved on from this. Don't let them take you back to, you know, you're, you're done with that. You're not that same person. Show the world the real you. You've changed. They keep, they keep coming back thinking that you're the same person from the past. You're not. That's not the real me. Maybe people are like antagonizing you, talking about, oh, you changed, you fake. That's not even the real you. That's not even who you really are. You used to be like this, you used to be like that. And you're like, uh, that was me from the past. Tell me about Gemini's love life. The magician, you. Exactly. You could be manifesting another Gemini. Got the tower card coming out. Scorpio. Page of Wands. I do see a Gemini or a Scorpio or unexpected messages with the Empress. You don't expect this. The world card with the Taurus, Libra, or any fixed sign. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. I do see a connection. Clarify the tower. Six of Cups. Golly, who is this? All right. Okay, y'all. This person is showing up in your general energy and your love energy. It's whatever you want to do in your life. It says don't let the past hold you back. But you're manifesting the past. <laughs> you are manifesting the past. Seven of Wands. Clarify the Seven of Wands. For Gemini. Knight of Swords. All right. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. Okay. You could be dealing with any sign Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces, um, Libra, Taurus, Gemini. Okay. Expect powerful change. So if you and this person are going to get back together, things got to change cancer next three months for cancer oh shit my bad y'all cool okay conclusions are within reach so things are going to be made clear what do you need to release exactly here? Yeah. So you're going to be finding out things you need to release and coming up with conclusions, meditating, contemplate. So your next three months, you're going to be meditating, contemplating, coming up with conclusions, um, changing, letting things go, adding new things to your life. A lot of big changes. And releasing, meditating, contemplating going through i don't feel like this is a dark night of the soul i feel like this is like a breakthrough next three months for cancer ace of wands beautiful energy so communication passion could be a child could be sex could be releasing um a sexual tie that you have with somebody this virgo judgment so this could be an ending or a new beginning all right, you do have some type of spiritual connection with somebody or something. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Cancer. Ten of Wands. This this is a burden. The sexual energy or feeling that you have for somebody. Nine of Wands. It's hard. You've been going hitting your head on the same wall for far too long. Clarify the Hermit. Eight of Wands. So much fire. Ten of wands, nine of wands, eight of wands, ace of wands. Do y'all have fire in your chart or does your person have fire in your chart? Because this is sex, sex, sex. 
Passion, passion, passion. Communication. Clarify the Hermit and the Eight of Wands for Cancer. Okay, so I see the Empress and the Knight of Wands. Empress and the Knight of Wands. So this is somebody you cannot hit and quit. Clarify judgment. You can't hit and quit them. You try to, but you can't. Clarify judgment. There's some type of tie that you have with this person. Two of Wands. Where is all these wands coming from, bro? Clarify judgment in the Two of Wands. Yeah, you're going to try to move into a different direction this time. Seven of Pentacles. But you have so much time, energy. You have so much investment here. But this is what you need. This is possibly what you need to release. Okay? There are things that you do over and over and over again. Or people that you need to release. But you keep fucking with them over and over and over again. You have some type of tie. Some type of soul tie. Sexual tie. Okay? So you and somebody's energies are intertwined. Or your energy, aura, or essence is intertwined in something that you've been trying to get out of. For I don't know how long and you keep going back to it. This is could be your baby mom or baby dad with the emperor. Somebody you have kids with or had a family with, had, had some type of life with. Okay. Oh, but this all these wands is could be arguing, could be um a lot of aggression. Okay, that's what I see. A lot of um uh, remorse and um, what's that shit called resentment could be dealing with the Virgo Aries Leo Sag um, Capricorn Taurus Sagittarius Scorpio Leo Libra Taurus okay tell me about um, Cancer's love life Page of Wands, Queen of Swords. Okay, I see you could be dating somebody a little younger. You're taking your time. The Emperor came out. Could be that same person because the Empress came out in your general spread. All right? So you're an Empress who has been keep going back and dealing with some hermit or something like that. So this Empress is going to possibly finally find her Emperor. Yeah, there it is. See how that came out? Love life, you're going to find your emperor and you're going to take your time. It's going to be balanced. Yeah, the world, a new world with the will of fortune. Beautiful. So what do you need to release so you can move forward? Will of fortune, things are changing. Big changes in regard to your love life and your regular life. So go ahead, release, meditate, contemplate. Get ready now, sooner than later. Because conclusions are going to be within reach. Leo. Okay, next three months, a time, I'm sorry, time for healing. Confidence is your key to success, Leo. Your energy coming out. And emotions are running high. So you're going to be healing in the next three months. You're going to be very confident. Could be emotional as well. Leo, this is for Leo. Next three months for Leo. Time for healing. All right. King of Coins, beautiful energy. You could have Earth in your chart, Death card. Things have really changed, Leo. You have really changed. I hear you you grew up. You have really grown up. Page of Pentacles, yeah. Focus on your money. Your I hear reliability. You're reliable and you're only hanging with people who are reliable. King of Wands, judgment. Clarify the King of Pentacles. You can have two options, a fire sign and an earth sign. King of I'm sorry, Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands. So, options. A lot of options. Clarify the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. You probably had sex with this um, King of Pentacles. And you decided to take some time. And you pushed back from them. Pushed away from them. I'm getting an energy of sometimes Leo would run away from 
stability, run away from things that were good for them. You've changed. Clarify death. You're not doing that anymore. Yeah, nine of pentacles, you changed a lot. You realize what's best for you and what's fair for you is to stop self-sabotaging. Stop self-sabotaging. Wheel of fortune, the world, chariot, empress. Come on. It ain't and it won't stop, Leo. Keep doing, keep doing that. Stay on this road. Clarify the page of coins for Leo. You still have these things where you kind of self-sabotage sometimes. I don't know why you do it. Page of Cups, Five of Swords, Page of Pentacles. It's the um clarify the Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords for Leo. You want to win at all costs sometimes. And I hear you you don't like when people tell you what you can and can't do. I'll show you what I can and can't do with the magician. Why did it get dark all of a sudden? Sorry, y'all. I know it's dark. You don't like when people tell you what you can and can't do. Strength, fool, right here. I'll show you. I can do what I want to do, son. Mm. Big change. The fool, um, the son could be dealing with the Leo. The fool and Aries. Uh, magician, Gemini. Strength, another Leo. Empress, a Libra. Chariot, Cancer. The world, any fixed sign. The wheel, any fixed sign. Justice. Libra, Temperance, Sagittarius, Death, Scorpio. So let me look at, oh, Judgment too. Any fixed sign, Sagittarius or Scorpio too. So you're getting your money together. It's a time for healing and you're loving yourself and you're confident because confidence is your key to success. Knight of Wands, I hear. I need, you don't under, like if somebody tells you you can't have something, you're like, yes, I can. King of Wands, you're in your ego. Five of, five of Swords. Um, make sure you're not self-sabotaging because don't be too hard in your ego. You don't have to be. Things are coming to you regardless, Leo. Page of Cups. I have the Page of Pentacles. King of Coins. Page of Coins. So I'm saying you're attracting so many things, so many offers. We got the King of Cups at the bottom. So we have three kings already showing up for you leo you can have what you want okay confidence is your key to success not cockiness okay these pages sometimes are like i'm young i'm youthful i can do what i want to do i can have what i want to have this this that yeah you can but we have a lot of changes coming into your life one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 major arcana have came out for you, Leo. Big changes in your life. So I do see why emotions could be running high. Heal now. Prepare now. Sooner rather than later. What's going on in Leo's love life? King of coins. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Ten of coins at the bottom. We have the lovers too. Chariot. Ace of cups. Okay, yes, you will be in a relationship with the next three months for whoever this resonates with, with an earth sign or with a cancer or Gemini. Somebody could be at a distance from you. How you'll know who this person is, is you can meet them around the time that you're moving or you can meet them around the time that they're in a big move or transition in their life with the chariot. Clarify the chariot for Leo in regard to their love life for the next three months. Yeah, you, your love life is actually going somewhere. It's not stuck. It's not standing still. It's actually going somewhere. Exactly. Will of fortune. Clarify the lovers for Leo. Strength. Be strong. This person is going to make you feel alive again. Make you feel more like yourself. Could be a Leo, Gemini, Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, another Leo. But there's a lot of love here. Big love, big money, stability. This could be somebody you marry or have kids with. Okay. Virgo. Next three months for Virgo. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. We have both the Capricorn cards. The end of a tough cycle approaches and your hard work is paying off, Virgo. 
next three months for Virgo. A personal issue reaches resolution. Meditate and contemplate. A time to give rather than take. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or another Virgo. Okay. A personal issue is going to reach resolution. So meditate, contemplate, pray. Um, take some time out to yourself. Release. Because it's the time to give rather than take. Okay, what's going on for Virgo in the next few months? Magician could be dealing with a Gemini. You're manifesting money opportunities, work opportunities, investments. Seven of Cups. Yeah, opportunities. King of Swords. A lot of communication as well. Decisions. You need you need people you need decisions being made. Clarify the magician for Virgo. Death. A transformation. What type of transformation? I don't know. Clarify the magician and the death card. Two of Wands. You need a, you want a new road. You want a new option. Okay. You can't see it right now, but it's coming. You're manifesting it. It's already in the works. Okay. Clarify the eight of pentacles for Virgo. The moon still came out. Could be dealing with a cancer. Clarify the eight of pentacles and the moon. So it's been working behind the scenes. A new world, a door, a portal is opening up for you. You want a do-over, another option. I hear this isn't fair. Something is going to turn around for you. Clarify the Seven of Cups. So whatever confusion or disillusion you're in, because there's some type of personal issue. Clarify the Seven of Cups. It's going to be made clear to you. Seven of Wands. Seven, seven. Seven months, seven days, seven weeks. Could have been a seven-year cycle. Clarify the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. Breakthrough and communication. Travel. Finally, something gets moving. Clarify the King of Swords. Yeah, that's what I heard. You need decisions being made. King of Pentacles. Two kings. Clarify the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Money moves. Decisions around money and stability. Five of Wands. <clears throat> you and uh, some people, your family, somebody could be arguing about a decision that has been made in regard to the family business. Two fives. Five of Wands, five of Swords. Okay, the tower is coming. Get ready for it. We got the damn three of swords, ten of swords. Damn, high priestess. So there's been a big change in your life. This could have already happened or get ready for it because there's going to be a big change. There's going to be a shake up, possibly an ending that your intuition is already pre warning you about with the high priestess. Prepare yourself, get the preparations necessary. So you don't catch yourself stuck in a bind. Okay? Save your money for this. I hear you need money for a rainy day. You do. Go ahead and start making a rainy day fund. Because if, it, if this isn't happening to you, this could be happening to someone around you and they could need your help. Okay? You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Cancer, Gemini. What's going on in Virgo's love life? What's going on in Virgo's love life? Eight of Cups. He walked away from something seeking wish fulfillment. It was a big change. Big shock, big ending, and it hurts you. Okay, what's going on in your love life? The next three months, you're going to be healing from this. Still. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Knight of Staffs. So, the this is the Knight of Wands. You might be in and out of these streets, searching for your wish fulfillment with the Knight of Wands. Clarify the Tower. Five of Cups. That's still not making you happy either. Clarify the Ten of Swords. The moon. Clarify the moon and the ten of swords. Somebody's doing something in secret that's hurting you. Or you're doing something in secret and you're hurting yourself. What is this? Aquarius. This cancer 
okay, so this cancer who meant to hurt you, um, I don't know if they did or didn't mean to hurt you, or maybe a cancer did hurt you, but you're healing from it now. You got the Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. They didn't hurt your money. You're getting your money together. Your money focused. You're not worried about love because for some reason, you're not satisfied. I don't know why. Clarify the star. There is wish fulfillment coming. Ace of Pentacles, <laughs> your money is going to make you happy. All right. Sorry, Virgo, I don't see a relationship. You're searching for your ninth cup. Okay. Yep, Com confirmation with the Hermit card. Okay. Libra. Libra. Next three months for Libra. Adjustments are required, Libra. There are changes that need to be made. Your commitment is being tested, Libra. And surrender to the divine. What's going on for Libra in the next three months? Ace of Swords, communication. Somebody's telling the truth. Okay, three of cups, a reunion, celebration. Somebody's lying or avoiding. Seven of Swords. This is very contradictory energy. Adjustments do need to be required. This could be some type of commitment that is being tested. With the Cancer or a Pisces. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Communication. Cutting things off. Deciding to, to end this third party and stop lying. Stop cheating. Who is this? Libra. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't want to overexert myself, overextend myself. I don't want to give to two. I don't want to breadcrumb. So the most balanced thing for you to do is to just be single focus on your money clarify the three of cups four of wands i want stability i want the home the dog we got strength six of cups you could be done with the leo <sighs> clarify the seven of swords five of cups the truth is i've been lying somebody is sad about something too justice it's going to be made right you're going to make this for right and fair so if there's some type of, yeah, clarify justice, five of cups, and the seven of swords. Page of pentacles. Yeah, adjustments are required. You got to get adjusted. Things got to be made balanced in your life. So I don't know if somebody's been lying about a child, lying about money, lying about being in a relationship, or just lying about how they feel. They, um said that they didn't want to be in a relationship when they really do i don't know but some type of in some if you're being inauthentic lying about who you truly are wearing a false mask it's coming out five of cups seven of swords it's gonna come out eventually okay and i hear you can't fight your human nature this is your human nature three of cups four of wands ten of cups you want to be happy you want to be with the family again So I hear the truth is coming out. That's that's what I have. The truth is coming out. Surrender to the divine. Yeah. And your commitment is being tested. Your commitment to yourself. Okay. What's going on in Libra's love life? The magician. Hair fence. Five of wands. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus, Six of Cups, Justice. So you're either trying to fix your... You're wondering if you should fix your marriage, go back to the past because there's something that needs to be fixed or healed. Or you're wondering if you should just move forward. Clarify the Magician. King of Pentacles could be dealing with the Taurus or a Capricorn. Clarify the Hierophant. Page of Swords. Somebody who's been having their eye on you. Five of Wands, please. Queen of Swords. It's a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or it's you. And there is some type of conflict or drama. The Tower, Queen of Cups. Some type of conflict or drama surrounding you or surrounding your love life. And you're like, I can't take the drama anymore. I can't take the drama anymore. So what's going on in your love life is you can't take the drama no more. Things got to be made balanced and adjustments need to be required. Adjustments are required in your love life too. 
That's what I see. Okay, Scorpio. Next two months for Scorpio. Bring love into the situation. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Balance spirituality and practicality. Could be dealing with the Pisces. And nothing is yet set in stone. So bring love into the situation. Could be dealing with the Libra. And I see a new romantic cycle is coming. That's at the bottom of the deck. So let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio. Nine of Wands, you're... A little sad wanting to take a break yeah you've ended some things because you've been stuck in your head okay bring love into the situation clarify the nine of wands the chariot could be dealing with a cancer there's some type of toxic energy regarding a capricorn or a cancer clarify the nine of wands the chariot and the devil Eight of Wands, some type of toxic communication. The way that the way that people communicate with you is not loving. It's not loving at all. Clarify the Four of Swords. There's no affection here. The hair friend. This somebody is stuck in their ways. Okay, somebody is stuck in their ways, of, and somebody is like going through and uh, is what is it called? You know, not sleep. It's not sleep deprivation, but like love deprivation, emotional deprivation, um, kindness deprivation. Clarify death. Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody don't speak out of love. They don't speak out of kindness. Somebody's very cutting with their words, very blunt. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Five of Cups, and you're not happy, not satisfied. So. Yes, bring love into the situation. Clarify the Three of Cups. Four of Cups. I'm hearing like also. So I see that there are people surrounding you, people in your energy, in your atmosphere, who are telling you that they love you, telling you you're good enough, but it's not good enough because you want this one specific person to say it. For some reason, you're not getting it. You are loved, you are cared for, but for some reason you're not getting it. I don't know if there's maybe some type of healing that you need. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Libra, another Scorpio, or a Cancer. Cancers are actually very loving, so if this is a Cancer, they may have something in their chart like Capricorn or something. All right, what's going on in Scorpio's love life? Two of Pentacles, you're juggling. Okay, love, yeah. Do, do you want this couple love or do you not? It's coming. It is coming. Could be from an Earth sign, King of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Two of Pentacles in regard to Scorpio's love life. Ace of Swords. So there's going to be communication or something that helps you make the decision on, yes, I'm choosing love, I'm deciding on love, or yes, I want this person, I'm choosing this person, deciding on this person, getting things balanced. Your love life is going to be balanced. Yeah, you're going to bring love into the situation, judgment right here. So balance, yeah, we have balanced spirituality and practicality. So you won't be going through this rough cycle, this dry patch too much longer, nothing is yet set in stone, but get balanced. I do see a relationship in the next three months. Sagittarius. Next three months for Sagittarius. A time for healing could be dealing with a Leo. You are good enough, Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Virgo. And have faith in your dreams. All right, next three months for Sagittarius. So healing in the next three months. You're going to be feeling like you're good enough or you need to know that you're good enough within the next three months. No matter what happens, you are good enough, okay? And have faith in your dreams. 
<sighs> nine of swords you're not in a good energy three of cups it's the people that you're surrounded by you still feel lonely three of swords three of swords nine of swords three of cups the hermit so you're still not happy surrounded by these people or you're still not happy when whenever you go out and have a good time, you're still guarded, you're not open, you're not having a good time, you're still hurt, you're carrying this burden, this pain around with you. Clarify the hermit could be dealing with the Virgo. Queen of Cups, your love sick. Clarify the hermit and the Queen of Cups. Okay. Nine of Wands, my bad. This is the Seven of Wands. We got the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Wands. You're blocking, guarding, not opening up. You're lovesick. And you're afraid. You could be afraid. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Seven of Swords, deceiving yourself. Clarify the Three of Cups. Five of Wands. You're deliberately keeping your options open because you're afraid to get your heart broken, but you're lovesick. There's one specific person could be this empress your baby mom or somebody who you possibly because we have the tower so i don't know if this person hurt you if y'all broke up if this was your first love or some shit like that clarify the empress and the tower queen of swords yeah it could have been a cutting type energy and you're still trying to get over this i don't know why i feel like this happened years ago this breakup that you never healed from but you're lovesick and I feel like you're just trying to keep your options open. Like there's another person that could possibly come into your life or you have multiple options or chances to experience new love and fun and things like that. But you kind of like trick yourself into being like, okay, I'm just going to have fun. I'm going to see where it goes. And you just, and it just um, never got off the ground. So have faith in your dreams. You are good enough for love. Don't be scared. And it is a time for healing. You got to heal from whatever is stopping you. If this isn't a love thing, whatever it is that you want to do, you may have been burned in the past or maybe something didn't go the way as planned and you have drawn back in your shell. I'm getting cancer energy. You got cancer in your chart or dealing with a cancer. But you went back in your shell and you never tried again. So it's like spirit is telling you, if you want this, you need to have faith in it. Have faith in me and have faith in yourself that you can have this or um accomplish this because you are good enough maybe somebody told you that you weren't and you actually are don't listen to them clarify oh uh, clarify shit tell me about sagittarius's love life five of wands still king of pentacles queen of wands you like somebody there's somebody here even though it's a mismatch pair it's the king and the queen seven of pentacles you're scared of investing time clarify the five of wands and the seven of pentacles the world you like this person they make you feel different the lovers temperance exactly you like this one this one you like clarify the king of coins you're afraid that they don't like you back the same way i hear sagittarius you're, you're trying to study this person analyze this person figure this person out because you're asking this person what type of person they are so you can kind of like put up a facade and pretend to be a different type of person. So say you're talking to somebody, you want to be with somebody or deal with somebody. You're like, well, I know you're not the type of person who just wants to jump into a relationship. So, right, right, you're not. And this person is like, uh, who told you that? Um, why don't you just get to know me? Shit like that. You're trying to ask them who this person is because... I hear like it's a subtle cry for help. Like, yes, I do want love. But if you tell me you don't want love, then I don't want love either. Type energy. What the fuck? Okay. Clarify the king of coins and the queen of wands. King of coins, queen of staffs. Six of pentacles. Things will be balanced between you two, but you got to stop fronting and just be honest. Okay. Sagittarius do like to front. I see the lovers right here. So... Y'all will be having sex or y'all be will be in some type of connection with the Gemini, another Sagittarius, um, Aries, Leo, any fixed sign or an earth sign. Stop fronting. Okay.
Capricorn. Next three months for Capricorn. Next three months for Capricorn. A time to give rather than take could be dealing with the Virgo. A time for healing could be dealing with the Leo. And the end of a rough cycle approaches. Sorry, rough cycle. The end of a tough cycle approaches could be dealing with the Capricorn or a Virgo. Okay. So Capricorn, yeah, this is your energy. The end of a tough cycle is approaching, okay? Next three months for Capricorn. Five of Cups, yeah, it's been rough and it's been sad. But a breakthrough in clarity and communication, you're cutting ties with that negative energy. Seven of Pentacles, you're sowing new seeds somewhere else. Clarify the Five of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, something, um, something wasn't financially satisfying. Clarify the Five of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. This is you. You're the Queen of Pentacles. Death. Yeah, something ended. Something changed. And you are sad because of this ending or because of this change. Maybe you didn't want to give up something. Or maybe you, I don't know, give in to something. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Money. Yeah, this is money. Three of Wands. It's coming. Ships are coming in. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Good news in regard to your investments. Clarify the Seven of Coins and the Page of Wands. The page of Staffs. Eight of Cups. But you're looking for something that's going to make you happy. The big, the big dollar dollar bill. Okay? Clarify Death for Capricorn. Okay. Death. Eight of I'm sorry. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, the Sun, Nine of Pentacles. So maybe you stopped talking to a Leo or you started gaining feelings for somebody at work. Yeah, because you look really good. Nine of Pentacles is a look good, independent type energy. The Sun, New Beginning, or a Leo or a child. Eight of Pentacles is working on it with someone. Okay, did somebody stop working on it with you? Or Capricorn, it's time for you to start giving. Time for you to put in the effort. The time, love, attention, affection, things like that. So this, on this cycle, because I see people have been being generous with you, loving you, pouring into you. It's time for you to do the same, okay? I do see money. Ace of Pentacles, you're looking for. Something was not satisfying, so you walked away. You emotionally distance yourself or walked away, whatever tough cycle this was, but it's healing, okay? Page of Wands, good news and excitement that ships are coming in, money and a big change. Um, you're investing your time and energy into something else and you cut off things from the past, okay? Tell me about Capricorn's love life. going on in Capricorn's love life for the next three months. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Whoa. The sun. So clarify the Ten of Pentacles. So your money is so you go from being feeling so you go from feeling like you don't want to give. You feel like <laughs> you don't want to. You're scared of giving. You're scared of being open and vulnerable. You're scared of being left out in the cold. You're scared of depending on people emotionally or financially. Because the Ten of Coins literally is cut in half and most of the Five of Coins. But the Sun card is a happy card. It's a happy card. With the Four of Wands right here. Clarify the Ten of Coins, Five of Coins, and the Sun. For Capricorn. Nine of Cups. Yeah, you're happy. So even if you did take a loss, you're happy. Even if you do have to split half with someone, you're happy in this relationship. This person fulfills you in some type of way. You're realizing it's not all about the money. Ten of Pentacles. But this is somebody you have children with, family with, or you will have children with. You will share some type of assets with them. 
yeah we go from the eight of cups being unsatisfied to the nine of cups which fulfilled okay so maybe you've been having a rough time in regards to your love life maybe you could have had some type of ending that didn't even have anything to do with your relationship could have been an ending in a job career you could have lost someone as well so you're going to be healing from that too Aquarius next three months for Aquarius please Okay. thank you that's a lot so a personal issue is going to reach resolution could be dealing with the cancer double cancer you and your loved ones are safe cancer energy all right you are very close to achieving your goal and have faith in your dreams could be dealing with a cancer or a sagittarius so tell me about aquarius what's going on in aquarius's life what's going on for aquarius in the next three months eight of pentacles hard work nine of wands your focus protecting yourself guarding yourself you know you're not really trust trustworthy you don't you don't open up and let people in because you think everybody's evil or you think everyone always has bad intentions or that you've been hurt so much clarify the eight of pentacles high priestess you're getting downloads with the moon right here these are fears clarify the nine of wands <clears throat> three of pentacles you're afraid to work with people clarify the four of pentacles six of cups because of things that happened in the past clarify the devil could be dealing with the capricorn ace of wands you have a very strong sexual energy connection something towards somebody but you're afraid of opening up i see you looking back to the past but you're trying to close up from the past because it's just like no i'm too afraid to ever open that door again ever but i see contradictory energies so i see you're sneaking around with somebody from the past or you started doing something that you said you wasn't going to do anymore secretly and you haven't opened up because you're scared of what somebody's going to think so you're just doing it in secret high priestess and the moon Clarify the high priestess and the moon for Aquarius. Judgment. Yeah, you already made this decision. You didn't consult anybody. You didn't ask anybody about it. Okay. Clarify the devil and the ace of wands. You could have a sex addiction. Justice. Something's going to be made balanced or fair, at least in your eyes. Clarify justice. Page of wands getting a lot of sexual energy you could be a sex worker that's what i hear i hear there's going to be a sting yes yeah, sting seven of swords so i'm getting as well you're going to find out that somebody um i don't know how else to say that y'all know those how fbi agents will go undercover and pretending to be little kids to bust adults who are preying on little kids who like little kids so i don't i don't know where that came from can you give me a different message please maybe you want to be an fbi agent or something i don't i don't know okay this is for aquarius somebody's trying to catch you in the act of doing something and this is possibly something you don't even fucking do but if somebody's trying to catch you in the act of doing something and you think it's a secret they will catch you or vice versa you will catch them they will get caught okay so a personal a personal issue reaches resolution you and your loved ones are safe okay you're very close to achieving your goals so have faith in your dreams is there anything else for aquarius king of swords your energy nine of coins the world yeah you look good you feel good making good decisions for yourself very clear level-headed nine of pentacles you're going to be rewarded for this as well ten of pentacles from the nine to the ten there's a big blessing coming your way be true to yourself aquarius all right. Next three months for Aquarius, love life. The Hermit could be dealing with the Virgo, the Fool, and the Six of Swords. You could be taking a leap of faith, secret leap of faith somewhere with someone. Could be traveling. 
clarify the hermit. Maybe you just want to be single. You're just going to be low key. You're dating around, but it's just low key. Queen of Coins. Yeah, it could be with a Virgo. It's low key. Things are cool. You're focused on yourself, your stability, what makes you happy. The Fool and the Hangman with the Pisces. It's not going anywhere. You're seeing things from a different perspective. You're dating around, getting what you need here and there. Yeah, Six of Swords, Hierophant. You're more spiritual, loving on yourself. Give it some time because if it's not the next three months, it could be the next four. The Emperor is the number four. So right when you give up shit, right when you give up or some shit like that, or right after this three-month mark, fourth, the fourth month and four months, this is when this dude come in, your emperor or your empress. So have faith. <clears throat> You're very close to achieving your goal. You and your loved ones are safe. And a personal issue is going to reach resolution. Pisces. Next three months for Pisces. Surrender to the divine. A personal issue reaches resolution. Confidence is your key to success. Could be dealing with a Cancer Leo. Cancer Leo cusp. Surrender to the divine. A personal issue reaches resolution. Confidence is your key to success. This is for Pisces. Six of Pentacles. Okay, maybe you feel like you don't have enough. Or maybe you feel like everybody always needs you. You could be dealing with the Leo. Maybe you feel like you're in the spotlight. Nine of Pentacles. This is beautiful energy to be in. Yes, be confident because it's your key to success. I keep seeing this Three of Swords. Fuck. Are we still here? Are we still here? I need to charge my phone. Just charge this bitch. Like, that is so annoying. Talk about the Three of Swords for Pisces. Eight of Wands. Okay, so... Somebody's going to text you and tell you there's been an ending, transition, or something changed, or something isn't didn't turn out as planned, okay? But I feel like this Eight of Wands is it's good energy to be in. Then the Death card is going to help you make the changes you need to make. It's going to get you out of this Three of Swords energy, okay? Clarify Six of Coins, the Sun, and the Nine of Coins for Pisces. Two of Wands, it opens a new door for you. King of Wands gives you, gives you your confidence back. Emperor lets you um, be in this boss energy. Clarify the sun. The tower. Two Scorpio energies. Big change. Clarify the sun and the tower. Queen of Swords. Somebody's saying something. What are they saying? Two of Coins. Get Okay. And then the Ace of Cups with the star. Oh, <laughs> So I'm getting somebody's giving you some information and with that information, it's kind of like unlocking Pandora's box for you. It's not to confuse you, but it is for you to decipher your own um, answers, your own conclusions. All right. You're looking very good during this time. And this could all be spirit and this could be a friend telling you this. Or you could just be feeling this intuitively. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio, Leo. I do see love here get balanced because the things that you're hearing the things that people are saying or whatever they're doing is going to create change in your life but it's going to um create those open-ended questions for you okay get out of this heartbreak because i do see healing coming be confident a personal issue reaches resolution surrender to the divine what's going on in pisces love life Queen of Cups, beautiful energy. This is you. Three of Wands, and then the Page of Wands. I do see somebody that you could be in a relationship in the next three months. Could be a fire sign or a water sign. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Somebody that you have feelings or emotions for, or have some type of emotional dealings with. Ten of Swords. Damn. I feel like this person might need some healing. You might be healing them. They might be healing you. Fuck. Seven of Swords. What just happened? Clarify the Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords. Judgment. Maybe you feel like you made a bad decision. Clarify the Three of Wands. Queen of Swords, 
two of cups. Clarify the page of wands. Death. Page of cups. So I see you have two options to choose from. So this queen of cups, you have two options to choose from. One comes sooner, one comes later. The one that comes sooner could be somebody from the past with this judgment card or somebody you already have some emotional dealings with, remember? But with the seven of swords and ten of swords, this person is a liar. They're a cheat. They steal time, steal energy, um, steal your peace of mind. Um, they're a waste of time. Give it, give it a month, a month. The three of wands is here. So... It could be the third month mark or right after the third month mark where you meet this person with the two of cups. And here's the love right here. Page of wands, death. Could be with a Scorpio or somebody younger than you. You got two options coming. Could be, could even be three, but I see two options for sure, Pisces. One is no good, but the other one is actually nice. It's worth having. So use your discernment. Confidence is your key to success. A personal issue reaches resolution. Surrender to the divine. Let me go ahead and get a collective message for you, my loves. Look, the two of cups is at the bottom of the deck. Give me a message for the collective. All right. Next three months for the collective. Ooh, Ace of Wands. King of Swords. Ten of Cups. Collective, yes. Stand in your power, be true to yourself, and be clear-minded, level-headed. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry, I said King of Cups. That's what I was going to say. Be true to yourself. Be clear and level-headed, level-minded. Don't be afraid to say no. Don't be afraid to say what you will and won't do, what you will and won't accept, what you do and don't want. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Don't be afraid to manifest what it is you want. What's the point of wanting something if you're too afraid to have it too afraid to ask for it okay you can have what you want you can have whatever you like ace of pentacles ten of cups beautiful energy be level-headed be intentional as well with this king of swords queen of wands i see you guys are feeling very beautiful queen of pentacles ace of cups yeah y'all you have the money you have the stability you look good. You're clear, level-headed, y'all. Collective, this is a good energy for y'all to be in. Do you, boo. Love yourself. Grow, elevate. Some of you could be losing weight as well. So all the aces have came out, collective. Didn't I say you could have whatever you like? Spirit has just confirmed that. Ace of swords, ace of wands, ace of cups, ace of pentacles. You can have whatever you like. Be clear about it. Be intentional about it. Be in high vibration about it. Ten of Cups, you will be happy. You got the money. You got the loan. You got the car. You got the job. You can have whatever you like, collective. I love you all. I'll see you later. You guys be safe. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Leave me a love donation. You can book a personal reading with me and check the description box. I love you all. Bye-bye.